The wind and the dry climate are the perfect combination for huge fires. And in order to get the forest close to what it was before, there's a lot of reforestation steps to take. So typically we're looking to plant those areas that were high severity fire, where we know we're not going to see natural regeneration for decades or even centuries. This is possible by planting seedlings. We are trying to make sure we match the right seedling to the right site. That that will ensure the highest likelihood of success. And it all starts with seed. But those seeds are not easy to get a hold of. It doesn't happen every year. Once they are producing, um, making sure that those seeds are, are germinating and then when the timing of that and getting people out there to collect those seeds to be tree climbers, certified tree climbers. Once those seeds are gathered, they are planted. We we mimic that limited irrigation and limited water resource in the nursery so that they're better prepared for that same environment when we plant. According to Bernie, they currently grow around 300,000 seedlings a year. The goal is 5 million. We probably have more requests for seedlings than we have capacity to grow, but um, we have to build capacity at all parts of the pipeline. The best impact you can have is to scale up the production, make it urgent in how we do that, and use the research that we're doing to drive the success rates of what we're putting in the ground. The hope to continue recovery efforts. Well, we had a tragic year last year. There is something to be to be hopeful for and that we can look to in reforestation. Stephanie Muniz, KYT Action 7 News. Stephanie, thank you. So far this year, there have already been more than 100 wildfires.